What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Coming at y'all to show you how I'm going to in words, okay? How I'm going to build my DIY nail polish little rack thing. I got this, like, I think it's a one by two. I don't know what you call it, but it's just a strip. It came like this from Lowe's. And uh, it comes like a really long, I think it's like 10 feet long thing. But I, it, this was in an old craft project that I had. I don't know what I was building, child, but I got old scrap wood laying around. So, like I told y'all in my previous video, I was making me a nail polish rack. So, I figured since my nail polish is going to be on there, I'm going to need something to hold it. So, to keep it from tilting over. I'm going to need something that, you know, just hold it a little bit just so they won't tip off. So, I got this. I was thinking, I'm like, okay, now I need some wood. At first, first I was going to use some of these little boards here, but that would have been too hard for me to figure out. And I ain't had time in my brain to figure that out. I figured I got these old post office box boxes. Post office box boxes, yeah. I got them. And so, I cut two strips off of the boxes. It came off the end of the box. It came off the end of the box. Like up here on the other side. Somewhere like that right there. And I cut two strips off. And they're like the box is double. So since it's double I'm just gonna keep it double and hot glue this together. And um, this is gonna be like my, uh, what, what would you call that? A shelf. The nail polish is here and then glue this to the front. So that way this could be like a shelf. I don't even know if y'all understand what I'm saying, but that was my vision. So when the nail polishes do sit on the rack, they're going to have something in front of them so they won't just tilt over easily. You get it? Okay, so that's just going to be glued on there. I'm going to hot glue the boards to itself. And I'm not sure if wood glue going to work with... I might put some E6000 on here. And, and some glue at the same time just because it's just paper and to, to glue this you know together like this so that's how I'm gonna do my board and when I get done um gonna spray paint it all black I think black is gonna be a good color for it and I might bling it out I don't know yet so I'll be back once I get done um gluing it together and it dries okay y'all so uh, I didn't think it out. I didn't think this out all the way through because I got it how I want it. I got it exactly how I envisioned it. But the thing is, see, that's the little lip. Then I cut two ends so the polish wouldn't slip off, you know, the corners by accident. Um, and that's where the polish is going to sit here but the other way around so let me show you the front um but what i didn't do is think it all the way through it's made exactly how i want it to be made but um in order to get this on the wall i'm gonna have a problem because my i don't have a if i i can't get over this to put the screw in there see if i had a screwdriver it's gonna be Maybe I can drill it diagonal and get these in there somehow. But we're going to see. I, I'm a, oh, I'm going to get it hung. I'm going to get it up there. But it just kinda, it's a little bit off. So I'm going to go take it outside and I'm going to spray paint it. And then I will come back and let you see that later. Okay, y'all. So I am done painting it. And it looks like this. I know it got some like little flaws where the wood was, I mean, this is actually where the cardboard was kind of like dented and stuff like that. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to bling it out maybe oh, to just to hide these like, these imperfections. This is where the two separate pieces of wood met and I had to put like glue there. <clears throat> and I got to go back and touch it up underneath where like the glue didn't stick all the way so but i ain't really worried about this coming off because this is going to be in the front so the weight of the nail polish is actually going to be inside on the board <clears throat> and i didn't paint the inside because it's going to be this way so who gonna see the inside um so what i did was when i thought i messed up well i kind of did mess up i wanted it to be a floating shelf so what i did i had to turn this one upside down so i can get to the screws in the wall so when i do when i do paint this 
when I do get this on the wall or before I put this on the wall, I'm going to paint this part white so it'll blend in with the wall a little bit more. Um, I'll probably just put a little dab of um, white acrylic paint that I got, you know, stored. So this is what the ends look like. That's so I won't have like nail polish falling out on the ends because I am putting this over my vanity so I don't want nothing to slip and fall and hit my um, light bulb. So that is what it looks like. I'm going to blend it out with these jewels here. This is a this is called a box of bling. I don't know what it's called, but it's called bling. It didn't even say no name. It just say bead. But I know I got this from um Hobby Lobby. And uh it's just a box of jewels that I have all over there and stuff. And they just like little blingy jewels. And I'm going to bling it up with some of those random shapes and stuff and i'll be right back okay y'all so i am done and it looks like this and those bling oh my god those jewels are so pretty now i got those blings again from hobby lobby i'm just gonna hang this on the wall and i'm gonna show you guys let me show you how the nail polish gonna look in them the nail polish is gonna look like this in them um and so when I put it on the wall, I will show you guys how it's going to look, okay? I'm excited. Okay, y'all. So, this is my nail polish holder. I'm so happy. It came out good. I'm going to see if I can get, get in closer. So, it looks like that on top of my vanity. Now, as you guys can see, that um, I have the other nail polish sitting actually on top of my vanity on just the wood part so i have kind of have like two shelves and that's how it looks from a distance and i absolutely love it yeah look at that picture a subscriber made me that and i printed it out and put it on my wall thank you again but um look at my nail polish i'm so happy y'all and look i got so much space that i can add like a whole lot more polish to it and as I as time goes by this will fill up quickly I'm pretty sure <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and that's all I got to say in this video and I will holler at y'all later bye